Hey everyone, Sandeep here from 99signals.com and in this video, I'll be doing a review and tutorial of Hey Summit. If you've ever wanted to host your virtual summit, webinar series or online conference but felt overwhelmed by the tech side of things, this video is for you. Like I said, I'll be diving deep into Hey Summit, a powerful all-in-one platform that takes the hassle out of organizing and running online events. I'll walk you through some of the key features, show you how easy it is to set up your first event and share my honest thoughts after testing it out. And the best part? Right now, Hey Summit is available as a lifetime deal on AppSumo for just $79, which means you can get unlimited access to it for a one-time price. I'll share all the details about this AppSumo deal very shortly, so stick around if you want to see whether Hey Summit is the right fit for your next virtual event and how you can save big while you're at it. Right, this is the Hey Summit lifetime deal that's currently available at AppSumo. Like I said, you can get lifetime access uh, to Hey Summit for just $79. Now, when you compare it with the regular pricing of uh, Hey Summit, uh, the basic plan that they have, which is called the growth plan, goes for $39 a month. And you can only have up to 1,000 attendees uh, for this plan. Now, if you scroll all the way down, you can see the different tiers that are included. Even the most basic plan that uh, AppSumo is offering lets you have uh, attendees up to 1,500, which is greater than the growth plan that they have on their website. But when it comes to active events, you can only have three events. So if you want to have more events, you can go with tier two or tier three, depending on your requirement. Now let's see what's included in all of these tiers. Uh, you can only remove the Hey Summit branding uh, for your webinars or courses under the third tier plan. So uh, keep that in mind. I really don't mind having the Hey Summit branding uh, in my courses or webinars, but if you're someone who's really particular about uh, having your own branding rather than having a co-branded sort of a webinar, then uh, maybe this is a feature that you would want to have. In that case, you would have to go for TA3 or TA4. Apart from this minor grievance, every other feature is included in the basic tier. The only thing you need to keep in mind is the total number of attendees and the active events that you can have under your plan. Now that you know what's on offer, let's uh, jump into the tutorial. Anytime during the tutorial, if you feel like uh, checking this deal out at AppSumo, you can just click on the link included in the description. With that said, let's jump right into a quick demo of Hey Summit. Right, I've just logged into my Hey Summit dashboard and uh, the dashboard shows you all the active events that you're currently managing on Hey Summit. If you're logging in for the first time, just hit the create new event button. So there'll be six options that you can choose from. Uh, you can have a one-off workshop. This is where you have a single live webinar where you can connect uh, a platform like Zoom and have the live webinar. You can have a single day event where you'll have multiple talks or sessions. Uh, again, this will be a live webinar or a series that you'll be having. You can spread that across multiple days and you can choose multi-day event. You can also have an ongoing series uh, where you have these monthly fireside chats. So you can decide to do that. And you can also create an on-demand video library where you have an existing set of videos and you can just uh, convert that into a course or a webinar series. And finally, you have the video course. This is where you can have a pre-recorded video and you can host it on a platform like Vimeo or YouTube and decide to convert that into a virtual event. So for the purpose of this demo, let me just choose a video course and hit the next button. Next step is where you set up your event. So just uh, fill in the basic details like the event name, uh, the brand name, the category and what stage you are at. So let me just do that to show you how it's done. So let me just name my course a beginner's guide to freelancing. Uh, I can mention my brand name here, select the category and uh, also select the stage I'm at. So I'll, I'll just say I'm working on this idea. All the other details you can fill in later. You can upload the logo at a later point. Just fill in all the mandatory details and then hit the create event button. And when the event is ready, you can just hit the view my event button. What Hey Summit will do is it will create an event dashboard for you and in the overview itself, they have this course uh, which you can register for free. This is the landing page for the course uh, and they have all the different modules here. This is how your Hey Summit landing page will look like uh, if you decide to go with this particular template. But you can sign up for this course and learn everything you need to know about Hey Summit. It's a pretty educational course that you can sign up for and uh, it covers all the bases in terms of uh, using Hey Summit to create your first virtual event. So I highly recommend you sign up for this course. It's a 14 day uh, course, but you can run through all the modules at once. And you learn everything you need to know about how to create a successful virtual event using Hey Summit. Now getting back to the dashboard, 
Next, you need to go to setup and uh, you'll see that a landing page has already been created for you by Hey Summit. So to access this landing page, you can just go to manage and then click on uh, view event. Remember that right now we've just given a title to the course and uh, probably uh, a brand. That's about it. We haven't given any other details. So you'll just see the title uh, on the landing page. But apart from that, every other content piece uh, can be customized by you. So it's a template right now. It's a template that's been pre-selected by Hey Summit. But you can uh, make changes to uh, every content piece that you see here and uh, customize it as per your course content. So all of this is uh, customizable. When you scroll down to the modules, uh, right now you'll see that it's empty. Uh, it'll only be populated once you add uh, lessons in your uh, setup. Uh, I'll show you in a short while how you can do that. But this is the template that's been selected for you. You can change this particular theme uh, later. But this is the landing page uh, default template that Hey Summit uh, selects for your course. Now heading back to the settings, you'll see all the general settings here where you can set up your registration and checkout. I'm guessing that you would be using this event as a lead magnet. So I would suggest uh, selecting this option where you require email upfront. So this is how you can uh, populate your email list. And uh, to customize your emails further, you can also select this option where you would require the participants to give their name. And once you've done that, you can just hit the save button and you'll see that this option uh, has been selected. Similarly, you can tweak all other settings here. Uh, you can go to branding and content and uh, upload your logo. You can even upload a white version of the logo because out of the three templates that uh, Hey Summit has, uh, two of them have dark backgrounds. So make sure you also upload a white version of your logo. Uh, this is where you can also enter your SEO and social content. You can enter the meta description here. And right below this, you can also uh, enter your social media URLs, uh, your Twitter URL, Facebook URL, anything that you want to include in the footer section of the landing page. Similarly, you can tweak all the other settings here as per your liking. Now, if you'd like to set up a date for your particular event, you can do that by going to update event settings. And uh, by default, it's uh, auto set. You can change that and uh, enter a start date and an end date here and this will be reflected on your landing page. So these are all the general settings. You can change it as per your liking. Next, you can go to emails and uh, you can see all the transactional emails that have been set up by uh, Hey Summit. So you don't need to integrate your uh, email marketing provider. It's already been taken care by Hey Summit. You can customize the content in each of these templates, but all of these will be set up for you by default. Now, each time someone registers for uh, a particular event they'll be uh, sent all of these details as long as you've taken their email address and uh, you can select or deselect any of these options so you can check all of these up and uh, see what you need uh, for your particular event and only go with those options let's head back to setup again and uh, let me show you all the integrations that they have now, even though Hey Summit takes care of uh, all the event emails for you, you can still connect your email service provider. Suppose you're planning to grow your email list and uh, you're using this webinar or course as a lead magnet. You can just make it easier for you by integrating your email service provider with Hey Summit. So these are all the options they have. If you don't see your particular email service included in the list, you can get in touch with uh, the Hey Summit customer support team and they do a fairly good job uh, in helping you integrate your email service with uh, Hey Summit. So the email service that I use is Akumba Mail uh, that was not included in the list of providers. So I got in touch with them and they were able to help me with the integration. You can do the same. You can get in touch with the customer support team. You can just write an email to them and they'll help you with the integration. Similarly, if you'd like to do other integrations, you can do all of that. You can have referral integrations, uh, you can have paid ad conversion pixels. Uh, you can also add uh, Google Analytics in this particular section. So you can just give the tracking provider ID and uh, connect your Google Analytics to track the data. And if you're using Thrivecart, you can also configure that particular integration here. Similarly, you can uh, check out the header links and the footer links that they have. So Hey Summit uh, gives you complete control over what you would like to include in your header links and your footer links. Next, you can add a webinar host. So suppose uh, this is a live event and uh, you would like your uh, speaker details to be mentioned on the landing page. You can add uh, your host here. 
if it's a pre-recorded course like uh, the one that I've chosen here, then you need not uh, populate this particular field. Next, if you're collecting payments, uh, if this is a paid event, then you can connect your Stripe or PayPal to Hey Summit. And that takes care of all the general settings. Once you've set this up, you can go to content. This is where you can add your modules and lessons. So before adding a lesson, it's important uh, you enter all the categories. So based on the course that you've selected, there'll be specific modules, there'll be specific chapters. You can add all of those categories here. So I'll give you an example. Let me just add a particular category to show you how it works. So the first chapter in my course would be freelancing basics and under that I would be having many lessons. Let me also enter a description and uh, hit the add category button. You'll notice that the category has been added. Similarly, you can add multiple categories here and those will be the modules that will be reflected on the landing page. And once all your categories are added, you can start adding your lessons. Now, this is the important part. This is where you add your pre-recorded session uh, to your video course. To add a new lesson, you can just click on add lesson button. And you'll find all the popular video platforms here where uh, you would probably already have a pre-recorded video. So you'll find all the popular options like Vistia, Vimeo, YouTube. You also have StreamYard, you have OneStream Live, you have Gumlet. So wherever you have uh, your video, you can just uh, select that particular platform and then enter the video ID. So for the purpose of this demo, let me just go ahead with YouTube. Uh, all I need to do here is enter the YouTube video ID. You need not copy the entire URL. So all you need to do is go to the specific video and copy all the letters after the equal to sign in the URL and just paste them here. Once you've done that, you can just hit the next button and give a title to your specific lesson. So let me just go ahead with this. You can enter all of these details here. You can change the URL slug because each specific lesson that you create will have its own landing page and you can also uh, mention the categories. In this case, it'll be freelancing basics. That's the category that I just created and then just hit the next button. This is where you can have your social sharing image, your holding image. You can also have an intro for this specific video. Again, you can go through the same process where you're connecting your uh, video platform and then entering the video ID. Once you've done that, you can hit the next button and you can add your presenters. You can either add existing presenters or add new ones. So if this is the first time that you're using uh, Hey Summit to uh, create a virtual event, then you'll probably not have uh, a presenter already added. So you can enter all the details here and then just hit the create and add button. In this case, I already have an existing presenter. So I'll just add myself. And once you've saved the lesson, you can find uh, the lesson here. Similarly, you can add multiple lessons and you can add multiple categories and all of them will be shown in the module section of your landing page. Now let's go back to the landing page and see how it looks. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and uh, you'll find the specific module here and when you click on that it'll have its own uh, landing page now in order to edit the landing page you can once again go back uh, to the dashboard and hit the edit landing page button so this is the landing page and you can change each element of the landing page here so if i want to change the heading i can just do that uh, and you can change every section of this particular landing page to suit your course Modules is something that will be changed as you add new categories and new lessons and everything else can be changed in the settings of uh, Hey Summit. You can just go to setup and uh, change all of these here. And if you want to change the header links and the footer links, you can do that right here. Now that is just a quick guide on how you can set up your own virtual event or your video course or a webinar using Hey Summit. I would highly recommend you sign up for their 14-day course, which is called Zero to Summit in 14 days. It will just give you proper guidelines on how you can use Hey Summit to its maximum potential. And if you find this particular tool useful, you can uh, go with uh, the lifetime access deal that's currently running on AppSumo. Like I said, you will find a link in the description of this video. You can grab lifetime access to it for just $79. And uh, depending on your requirement, you can go with any of these plans that are currently featured on AppSumo. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this quick tutorial of Hey Summit useful. And I'll be back very soon with a new video.